K. Yao Cancer Fund in partnership with the WBCA and the V Foundation. Number three team in the country, undefeated LSU, has made the trip to Aggieland to take on Texas A&M in this Sunday afternoon SEC showdown. Her outfit, as selected by her daughter, JC, here today for the beat the hell out of breast cancer game here at Reeve Arena. I think her daughter just did just fine. Absolutely. <laughs> and drum roll, please. Everyone wants to know. Oh, yeah. Kim's got the pink pants on to celebrate what we're talking about all day long play for K and the numbers just continue to build so impressive and what they have done this year continues to be one of the great stories can they do it can they stay undefeated as they play their third game in seven days the opening tip is fought for and tied up and then for LSU how many points can they generate in the true offense? Because we know how good they are on the glass. Aaliyah Patty wins the second tip, and the first possession goes to Texas A&M. Here's KK Green to Patty. Patty with the screen, and then an offensive foul called on Aaliyah Patty as Ladasia Williams, who's done such a great job in so many little things that sometimes go unnoticed through the contact and the first foul of the game. I mean, Aaliyah Patty's doing anything and everything Joni Taylor and this coaching staff has asked her. And Joni Taylor told us today, we're going to go inside. We want to attack their bigs. Unfortunate, Patty gets called for that charge. Here is Reese. They'll try to keep her away from the basket. You know, Reese does so much of her damage on the offensive glass. Second chance opportunities. Williams left open. One and done, and K.K. Green pulls it down. Green in the starting five with the freshman Sydney Bowles. That's deflected out of play by Jasmine Carson. Mackenzie Green getting the start today. It is senior day here. You know the key today is you're not going to win the rebound battle, but you got to keep it respectable on the glass if you're Texas A&M, if you're going to hang in this game. Absolutely, and that's what Joni Taylor told us. Two things when it comes to Angel Reese. Keep her off the glass and keep her off the free throw line. Flaugier Johnson, the standout freshman, and Jasmine Carson, the grad student, from Memphis after playing the last two years with West Virginia. And you see Texas A&M sagging off the bigs of LSU when they come out of the paint. They're trying to jam up that paint area. Williams defended by Malone, and there is Angel Reese doing Angel Reese things. And Patty got away with the push off there. Would have been her second personal. Bulls, excellent shooter, can't knock this one down. Bulls truly hasn't found her range yet in her first year and there's been a lot on her shoulders as a freshman Morris so good at slamming on the brakes well and that's what Joni Taylor told us today I said is it like being back to those first couple of games of the season she said absolutely developing offensive chemistry defensive chemistry everything's new she is put into the game for a &M. here's Morris Chucked back to Williams another outside shot try to get it up off the glass that's what Reese does and Reese is still at it and a whistle and a foul is called on Texas A&M. And she comes through at the free throw line. Her second personal foul, and Janiah Barker is into the game. LSU's defense elite, fifth in the country, giving up 53 points a game. Third in Division I in opponent field goal percentage. Defense, bowls off the mark, and the drought continues to start the game, and Reese will push it up court. Well, it's going to put a lot of pressure on Texas A&M's offense today if they're not going to have any second-chance opportunities, and LSU continues to have their way on their offensive glass. Reese, her left shoe is untied, so hopping around, and Morris <laughs> will knock down a three. 9-0 run. Johnson changed that shot. Williams came away. Carson can't get the handle. Finally picked up by Green. Green against Johnson for the first two. They now have 10 players dressed, but they've had a little issue trying to find the right combination, the right mix with substitutions and getting the right combination of players on the floor. Well, you've almost got two teams right now for AM. You've got seven who have been playing consistently. Reese now with six points to go along with the four rebounds. Beautiful dish by Samaya Smith, who has really played well for LSU. Smith, a native Texan. Patty rolls her eyes as she turns around, but she'll take it. Banking in the three. It's Sunday. Banks open. In Texas, right? <laughs> Banks are always open if you just... 
ATM. Go to the ATM, yeah. So here's Morris. The entry to Smith. Shut out, but sticks with it. You know, I had some people ask me, because I had him in November, what do I think? And I said, they've got post-step. And I'm not just talking about Angel Reese and LaDasia Williams. I'm talking about Samaya Smith, and she is not disappointed. Such a dynamic young lady who's so quick off the floor. Morris, the pull-up for three. We talked before about Alexis Morris, who played here for Texas A&M a couple seasons ago. This is her second season with LSU. Another three on the way. This one will drop for A&M. Morris, one on three. Doesn't matter, but it won't drop. Good follow by Reese. Never gives up on the play. Well, and that's bad by A&M in that one. Like, if you're running in transition, and all the respect to Alexis Morris, because she pulled three A&M players, but someone's got to find Reese in transition and be ready to box out. Parker on the turnaround, in and out. Reese lets it go, and that will do it for the first quarter. When you look on the court right now, think about that, and the bottom line, male or female, it will affect you in some form or fashion. So if you can, please give and continue to help in the fight against all women's cancers. First possession of the second quarter, another basket for LSU. Suppose there's a big game next Sunday, and then the talented rapper. Look, there's a lot. There's a lot to get to. Since you are <laughs> you are my entertainment reporter, I'll let you uh, fill everybody in on that as we go along here today. But yeah, she's got a, a busy week. For those who don't know, she will be on America's Got Talent this week. Poa with the three. It's nice to have her back on the floor, but she's had a lot of turnovers in her three games back. Really has to focus on taking care of the ball and getting her team in an offense. Parker off the mark on the three. Johnson, for some reason, went for the save, and Barker gets hammered down, and a foul is called. So to the free throw line goes Janiah Barker, leading scorer for this team, averaging just over 13 points a game. Big 10 showdown, 10th-ranked Ohio State taking on 8th-ranked Maryland. Maryland trying to get back on track after falling to Iowa. Caitlin Clark going for 42 in that meeting. Both teams are 9-3 and in the Big 10, so a really big game coming up after we're done here in College Station. Go on the entry. Broken up, good defense by Texas A&M. I like the double on the low block there. Jones will do it herself. What did Joni Taylor say today? We've got to learn how to go on a run. It's started now, Texas A&M got a stop, got a score. Can they get another stop here? Morris got half a step, and she'll earn a trip to the free throw line. You need a bucket. Alexis Morris can just create it. In 43 minutes against Georgia, LSU jumped out to a 9-0 lead at the start. Up by 10 after one quarter. Up by 14 here, trying to keep pace with South Carolina. That's Hilton. Carson up ahead on the left. Finds her. Good feed, good finish. Hilton showing the handle, getting the assist from Malone, who cleared a path. Angel Reese spinning, won't drop for, and a rebound pulled down by AM. There's Jones. Game a little frenetic at the moment. Hilton tries to settle things down. Trying to claw back in it here at Reed. Morris on the pull up will quiet the crowd. And in case you missed it, because she also said to be quiet, she gave the finger. <laughs> Here's Patty. Good job by Williams, just ran her right off that shot. And here's Morris, knocked away from behind, but she tracks it down. Inside of four minutes to play here in the first half. We're seeing players on both sides right now. They're waiting for that media timeout. A lot of players breathing hard on the floor. Reese gets fouled, and that will get us 
to be coveted for those on the floor. You know, I think one of the great conversation pieces as Reese makes the first is there's another double double. 23 double doubles for Angel Reese. You look at what Aaliyah Boston did today. South Carolina took down fifth ranked UConn 81 77. South Carolina undefeated. LSU trying to remain undefeated as well. Two on one back the other way with Morris. Feeds to get off to Johnson. That basket was well timed because I didn't have a chance to say, Christy Thomas Scuddy, who's going to be the player of the year in the SEC and by extension, potential national player of the year? But let's we'll save that for the second half. Maybe. Oh, so you're giving me time. To I'm giving ponder. you time. Yes. Morris. We'll discuss player of the year in the SEC later, but I will say, talking about next Sunday's game with LSU and South Carolina, a lot of talk about the two bigs. I think it's going to come down to Alexis Morrison's eye cook. There's going to be a little bit too much attention there, and they may offset each other a little bit. What's your? Uh, I'm curious now. I want to hear your breakdown on next Sunday's showdown between LSU and South Carolina. Barker and Patty there timing up. So I almost feel like that will be a wash. I think the guard play will be critical in this game because it's going to be about possessions. Who takes care of the ball? They had a battle against Tennessee. Very good team. Top three team in the SEC. Strength of schedule. So they'll have a week off. But it won't be a week off from hype. There'll be plenty of hype all week long. But after they're done here today, their next game is against South Carolina. That's Barker inside and one. Talked about Janiah Barker, the freshman from Marietta, Georgia. Six foot four. Did you hear me? I couldn't hear myself there. I, I said something very profound right there. I hope everybody listened. I, I feel that. like you always say something profound, <laughs> but yes, yeah, sorry there for a moment. I lost you. All right. Basically, paraphrasing, as that one is flipped up, and it's Barker with the rebound. We've seen flashes from her. She broke her wrist, so she missed a good chunk of games. What do you like about her game? And as she evolves, as she tries to knock down the three on cue, where will her game thrive and take her with Texas A&M? I see her going to a natural three position. Outside shot won't go. Reese bats it out of play, and a and will have it. Barker with Reese on her, and look at Reese. Gets out there defensively, and looking to finish on the other end. How many times have we seen Angel Reese on the perimeter pick the pocket and take it coast to coast? So skilled in so many different ways. Adam has to hurry. Down to six to go in the half. Green. Hesitation. Patty will come up short, and that will do it. LSU led by who else but Angel Reese. 12 points and 12 rebounds. She was not alone. Of Reese's 13 rebounds, five were on the offensive ends. AM with the first possession of the third quarter. Patty. Malone can't get it. The rebound comes out to KK Green and a reach in foul called on Alexis Morris. You saw at halftime South Carolina winning their 29th consecutive game. They stay undefeated. First place in the SEC. LSU trying to keep pace and improve to 23 0, 11 0 in the SEC. Carson for two. And a foul is going to be called on Patty, I believe. These couple of calls affect them. They've got to stay true to the course right now. Chasing down Morris. Reese to Johnson. And M hang in there, hangs in there defensively, and Johnson draws the contact. She'll go to the line. So Flage Johnson at the free throw line to shoot a couple while she shoots. I can tell you about men's hoop, our next ACC Big 12 Big Monday doubleheader. Both games on ESPN and also on the app. Five points for Johnson. Patty knocked away by Reese. On the pull up is good. KK Green. When they met January 5th, LSU won 74-34. Different game here today. Green with the feed. Patty with the follow. And again, and again, eight-point game. Another turnover. 
Green. And AM is feasting on that. 12 points right now off of LSU miscues. 6 0 run for the Aggies. Morris off balance but gets it to drop. Alexis Morris with a tough shot to end the run. I can't help but say this again. This is LSU's third game in six days, and we're seeing a little bit of the mental mistakes due to fatigue. Cool defended by Green. Johnson for two. Seven points for the freshman from Savannah. I know you say it all the time as Barker comes out and gets the basket. Johnson tries for three, won't drop. Reese with the rebound, draws a crowd right away. Fights it up there, tried to take it away. A little bit of frustration perhaps as Barker used her strength to hold on to it. In some ways... You it feels like Barker's growing up before our eyes here in this game. How so? I, I saw a lot of emotion in that first half, reacting at times and, and settling. And now we're seeing some true fight against one of the best players in the country in Angel Reese. Down to six on the shot clock. Jones, little hesitation, gets a look and beats the shot clock. They've made four here today. They're going to need to make a few more to keep this one tight. Reese will try from outside. No good. And Eric, credit AM. It has been one and done for LSU these last couple of trips. They're doing a good job of keeping the Tigers off the offensive glass. Patty on the post up against the freshman. Ducks underneath for two. Aaliyah Patty now with nine. It's a four-point game. Poole can't get it, and Patty gets called, holding on to Reese. That's a good call. So Patty goes to the bench with three personal fouls. LSU has scored five points here in this third quarter. They've been outscored 14 to five as Reese coming out of halftime. LSU had eight offensive rebounds, only two in that third quarter, almost a third. Barker can't get it to drop, and Williams has the rebound. LSU has missed their last seven field goal attempts. And a technical foul is called on Angel Reese. Angel Reese puts it on the floor, and she knows that's a big bucket, but unfortunately lets her emotions get the best, and a little taunting there of the freshman Barker, and the official's right there to make the call. She's looking for the end one, but nothing was called. Where the official said that's enough for Marie, so I think this has been building. We just got the clarification, a taunting technical foul. One minute to go, third quarter. LSU undefeated, 22-0. A&M, Malone saved it, but right to Reese. Aggies with one conference win. It came against Georgia, a team that almost beat LSU on Thursday. Morris, hesitation, floater, yes. You need a basket. Alexis Morris is your go-to if you're LSU. 20 points for Morris. Too strong. Second chance on a follow here. Barker makes the extra pass to Malone, but she's called for an offensive foul. No basket. We're going to try to get something here. Morris is rubbing her palms together. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's falling for her. Why not? They go long, they throw it up, and it's intercepted by Sahara Jones, and that is it for the third quarter. It's a team that beat Tennessee Monday.
won in overtime against Georgia on Thursday. Here they are on the road on a Sunday with the game against South Carolina coming up a week from today. You think there's some fatigue, certainly, for LSU. Yeah, I definitely, I, I mean, we've watched enough teams who have had to do this three ends in six days, and it's a battle on this third game. And I, I really don't believe LSU is looking ahead to Sunday. I think this is truly fatigue from the week that they have had. And, Eric, we can talk about physically this is the third game, but I truly believe the emotion. Reese travel. K.K. Green. Hilton will try a three and make it. Big time three. Hilton's in the double figures with 12. Well, Eric, sometimes if you're going to pull an upset, you got to do things you haven't done. And for AM, that is knocked down the three. It's so a new, new career high for Hilton. Williams can't get it. Williams with the follow. No. Reese on the glass is fouled. Malone on the bench with four. Joni Taylor is going to keep Patty out there. And is the foul on Barker? I think it is. It is. Yeah, big spot here for Ernie Kindred into the game. Very small lineup. But Barker is their Go size. Yes. Singular, six foot four. So they go inside to the Tigers. Reese will head back to the free throw line. And she is showing the same reaction that Patty did. Can't believe that the foul was on her. So Reese to the free throw line. These will be free throw attempts 17 and 18 for LSU. Reese comes through. Jones trying for three and delivering. And now a key is Ernie Kendrick. Can she keep Angel Reese off the glass? Reese with a pass to Williams. Count it and the foul. So Patty leaves the game with nine points, two points shy of 1,000 in her career. Fouls out with 7.16 to go in the fourth. And a foul is going to be called on Alexis Morris. They've been hitting some outside shots. Can they continue to knock them down? The concern now is on the other end. And some people might say, well, go zone. I think as well as LSU's rebounding right now, I'd be really scared to go to the zone because you want your one-on-one -on -one matchup in terms of trying to box out and keeping LSU off the boards. And that's the difference right now of why LSU has started being better on offense. It's the second chance opportunities. Malone back into the game. Reese takes it at her for two. 20 points for Angel Reese. 18th time she's gone for 20 this season. And Eric, I think it's LSU's going to keep doing, knowing of the foul trouble by AM. They're just going to keep attacking them. One and done as Hilton misses the three. Reese, big advantage on Kindred. Malone knocked it away. Hilton, great play. Great handle behind the back. And the dish. New episode every Monday through March 13th at 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Central. Part 2 we'll look at in 1966 over Kentucky. Conference's first black player in the incredible career of LSU's. Approaching six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. If I'm LSU, I get Williams the ball. Go right at Malone. Johnson instead tries it for two. Reese extending the defense. Malone tries to help with a screen. Tough take. And a foul is called on the drive. Her number's way up her first two seasons here at AM. Two starts and 46 games played. Reese Malone with the reach. Has to be careful playing with the four fouls. Reese with the right hand. No. The follow. No. 20. And 20 again for Reese against AM. 20 points, 20 rebounds. Angel Reese so good on the glass. And she said, it's her pursuit of the ball. She said, she's already rebounding before the shot goes up. And we just saw that with her own shot. It's her third 2020 game this season, her second against AM. And LSU on top by nine with five minutes to go. Green tries to drop it into Malone, who finishes. First points for Jada Malone, and then a steal. Green 
Great hustle by Sahara Jones to come clean it up. AM punches back. Morris drops it in. Offensive foul. A lot's been made of the non-conference schedule. From LSU's perspective, they did what they needed to do. They won. They continue to win. And we all know it lies away for them <laughs> next week. This is what Texas A&M's at their best diving on the floor, just laying out. And it's Jada Malone, who had nine points and six rebounds today, fouled out with 7.16 to go. So they're missing one of their bigs to try to slow down Angel Reese. Johnson. She delivers. The freshman delivers yet again for LSU. And the double figures now with 11. Hilton got caught in deep. And then Malone gets called for her fifth. So here's LaDasia Williams, 43% free throw shooter. It's a, am I hearing J.C. Sheldon could be back for Ohio State? That changes things I'm in hearing, the big picture. I'm hearing 16 points a game back for the Buckeyes. Green, Kindred, can't get it. And Reese has another rebound. That's number 21. And if I'm LSU, I just go inside right now. A&M undersized. Try from outside with Morris. Why not? 22 points now for Alexis Morris. Her offensive game, she just makes things look so easy. And this is where for AM, just spread the floor. So KK Green at the free throw line to shoot a couple. Cramp against Florida had been very limited this entire week. Didn't practice yesterday, but she's come out and played hard here today. Morris. Looks like she wants to take it. Rebounded by McKenzie Green. Up ahead to Jones. Sahara Jones spinning, leaning in. It won't drop. But she earns a trip to the free throw line. Georgia on Thursday went to overtime. America, if you're AM, you need to try to extend some pressure here. Nine turnovers for Morris. Reese drops it down to Williams, dribbled off their foot. AM gets a stop, and Morris gives the foul. And Alexis Morris is fouled out in her return to Reed Arena. KK Green to the line. Pool into the game for the Tigers. And here comes the pressure. A timeout called by LSU. Now LSU back on the floor quickly. Johnson can't get it. Reese on the follow. And then Jones pulls down the rebound and a foul is called. Jones three for four today. Make it four for five. Important free throws for Sahara Jones. Seven nothing run here for Texas A&M. One final stand for the Aggies. Now a four point game. Morris out of the game. So one of the top ball handlers on the bench, a spectator now. Reese away from the basket. They drop way off on Angel Reese. Threw up an awkward shot and a late whistle and a foul called on Texas A&M. Reminder, Ohio State and Maryland coming up when we're done here in College Station. As our triple header continues. 24 points, 22 rebounds for Angel Reese. And that was great scout defense by LSU. AM trying to run that sideline break on a free throw. LSU was ready for it. Approaching one minute to go. Tough drive, and then a foul is called on LSU. Now, that's Williams. That's five. She's heading off. She knows. And that is the fifth personal foul on LaDasia Williams. So Williams and Morris have fouled out. KK Green. And AM very good from the line today. 83%, 15 of 18. This one's too strong, and Johnson's got a rebound. No need to be in a hurry here for LSU, and the freshman realizes that and puts on the brakes. Poa defended by Green, final minute here at Reed. 
Green trying to get a steal. Reminder, if you're tuning in for Ohio State and Maryland, we will get you to that game. And we're done here between LSU and Texas A&M. LSU has had their hands full. And keep pace. They find Parker. Barker gets tied up by Poole. Great hands. Bowles stepped out of bounds. This game not put to bed yet for LSU. They get it into the hands of Poa. Outstanding free throw shooter. No foul here from AM. They're trying to play D here. Poa will just work some clock. Kim Mulkey's a pseudo point guard over there on the sideline, just telling Poe exactly what she wants. Tell her, keep dribbling, keep dribbling. Do not pick up your dribble and start the count. Poa back out to Poole. Seven to shoot. Poole on the cross. Poole drops it down to Reese. Beautiful job by Poole and Reese with the finish. Eric, such balance and depth on this LSU team. This time it's pull creating, pulling the rotation, and finds her buddy Reese on the weak side. Great touch by Angel Reese, but even better, creation off the bounce by Tara Poole to set up her teammate. I just love the fact that Poole knew how much time she had. She knew she had the time to make that extra pass. Now Poole will make them work a little bit as they bring it up across half court in what is now a nine-point game. Green drops it back to Kindred and one. So Kindred gets her first points of the game, trying to add to it here. And LSU will take another timeout. And I got to believe Down two possessions and seven seconds to go. Based on how small AM is, that's what they're doing. They're trying to get a steal, and back. they're just going to play it out. Back to Poa, no foul. And that will do it. And the big crowd that came here to support LSU up on their feet. And they applaud the effort. Great effort by Texas A&M as well. They took the number three team in the country to the limit. But in the end, LSU wins at 72-66 the final. Alexis Morris with 22 points. Angel Reese, 26 points, 22 rebounds. Another 20-29 for her.